This is the forward edge of the potential battlefield with Iraq. We're at a secret position occupied by the U.S. Army's 5th Battalion, 52nd Air Defense Artillery. The Patriot missile batteries that you see over my shoulder are the key line of defense against Saddam Hussein's Scud missiles. Echo Battery keeps a lonely vigil at a remote outpost in Kuwait. Its Patriot missiles aim toward Iraq to intercept the preemptive strike by Scud missiles. Inside a high-tech battle wagon, Corporal Terrence Barnes of Houston and 2nd Lieutenant James Chase of Clarksville, Tennessee, watch their radar scopes for signs of an enemy missile launch. Corporal Barnes says his high-stakes job requires split-second reactions and the hand-to-eye coordination of a champion video gamer. What's it like to have your finger on the button? I think it's exciting. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of people's lives depend on me to do my job, and I'm excited. I'm ready to do it. Anything comes forward, I'm ready to push that button. Each of Echo Battery's launchers are armed with 16 advanced Patriots called the Pac-3 that cost nearly $3 million apiece. It's the frontline missile defense system for protecting coalition troops and Middle Eastern cities within range of Iraqi scuds. Basically, a scud missile is nothing more than a terror weapon uh, used to harass and intimidate other countries. It's the poor man's weapon of choice, so to speak. The Pac-3 is a $3 billion improvement that is supposed to slam into a scud's warhead. The Army says that should destroy chemical or biological warheads before its poisons reach people on the ground. It's almost trying to like hit a bullet with a bullet. General Howard Bromberg commands the 32nd Army Air and Missile Defense Command. And from a personal view, I've seen several Pac-3 firings and I've seen several destructions of incoming missiles. Uh, I was involved with testing before, so I'm very comfortable with the capability that we have here right now. General Bromberg would fight a missile defense war in this nerve center at Camp Doha outside Kuwait City. In here, Army commanders can see everything moving in the air and on the ground in real time, graphically displayed on large screens. Back on the front line, 2nd Lieutenant Chase must destroy a tactical ballistic missile in precious few minutes. The new officer says it's a good feeling to know that he is doing something so important for his country so early in his career. Robert Riggs, CBS 11 News, Kuwait.